I'm Celia Pym. I'm working with Professor Richard Wingate and our project is on mending and anatomy. I'm an embroiderer, a knitter, a darner. I do a lot of work with mending and repair. It's always been of interest to me. Richard and I felt there was something about the process of learning anatomy for students in this intense emotional environment where they open up bodies, that it might be nice to have a contrast within the dissecting room of me putting things back together. My name's Tamsin Van Essen. I'm collaborating with Richard Wingate, Head of Anatomy at King's. Our project is called the Anatomy of Transformations. And we're looking at anatomy as a series of processes of transformation, a series of acts rather than a topic of study. I'm relating these back to ceramics and material changes that ceramics can go through. It's almost as if I'm a museum exhibit. So people can come into the museum, students and staff, they can come over and see what I'm doing, look over my shoulder and pick up the pieces on my desk that I've made. So it's a very different way of working than I'm used to. My name's Karina Thompson, I'm a textile artist and I use digitally programmed embroidery as part of my practice. And I'm Matthew Howard and I'm a lecturer in robotics in the Department of Informatics of King's College London. We were looking to see if we could make embroidered sensors and circuits that would capture electrical muscle movements and muscle movement in the hand using embroidery and conductive threads to make those components. My name is Liz Bicknell and I make books and I think about folding. My name is Naomi McIntosh and I'm interested in how objects relate to ourselves and space that surrounds the surface of the skin. Our starting point for the project was to think about animals such as cats and rats that can change their skeletons so they can move through small spaces. We then set out a vocabulary for ourselves and decided that essentially this was about using model making to explore movement and articulation. Mending appears sort of benign and kind, which it is, but it also means that it lets me in. I find that usually you begin a conversation about their jeans or the hole in their sweatshirt or backpack, and then quite quickly we get onto, they're like, oh God, this is intense in here, or this feels like a, a big thing, or I'm not sure how I felt today. I think the main thing is that it's about stories, how willing people are to share their experiences and their stories. What I'm interested in is how they feel, how students are coping in there, and this is a way to find that out. Throughout the residency, I've been making a series of material trials, ceramic tests, looking at the processes of anatomy and mimicking them using the ceramic materials. By the end, there will be a whole collection of these objects that reflect all the different processes that are going on in the different areas of anatomy. So they're not directly representational, but they're taking the essence of the idea of these transformations you have in anatomical processes and interpreting them using clay and ceramics as a communication tool. We've managed to create prototypes that we can use in pilot experimental studies. It's also been a great opportunity to explore lots of different avenues of future research. It could be that you would put on a glove with sensors in that would pick up the muscle movements 
and translate that data across to the robot so the robot would then be able to repeat that action that you've shown it and that has lots and lots of different uses in the future in terms of manufacturing, physiotherapy with stroke patients, all sorts of applications. The idea was to make things that we didn't know where they came from, what they were about. We didn't want to answer any questions specifically set out by soft robotics but informed um, by the meetings and by conversations that the four of us have. We set parameters about the vocabulary that we wanted to work with, so the main um, element was deform, reform. That language was really important. It had a place to go back to every time we made something, we could almost test it against the language. The key to the whole project is to be surprised, both scientists and craftspeople. So if we were surprised by something, it was successful, and then we ran or explored that element.